today I have designed a very different kind of presentation slide design. It is designed using Figma. It is free and you can definitely use to design your presentations. This is Figma. Such a clean interface. On the left you can find layers panel. On the right, properties of each item. Now I will unlock each layer to explain the presentation design. I am making visible the first layer. So this is a glow effects I have designed using a gradient color. It is designed using a circle. You can check the properties of the circle on the right panel. I have filled gradient color scheme. Simply insert the circle and add gradient fill. There are many gradient types like linear, radial, angular, etc. But I am interested in radial gradient type. Just select the radial gradient. On the left gradient stop fill the color you need as per the color scheme you are following and on the right gradient stop fill the color matching the background where you want to add. Now keep the opacity zero for the right gradient stop. For the left one you can adjust as per the glow effect you need. For the sake of your understanding, I am creating one circle, add gradient fill and change the colors and opacity. Here you can see how I inserted this circle and changed its color scheme from default gradient to radial. It is very easy to design and you just need to try it. Also, you can move the color bar on the circle to change its direction and flow. Now let's remove this circle. Now let's make visible the next layer quickly. All you have to do is go to the layers panel and click on this eye icon. This will make the layer visible. This is the same glow effect which we have just learned. I have duplicated the glow layer and created this layer. After that I changed its color to cyan on the first gradient stop. You can see the properties of this layer in the panel on the right side. I am going to use more of these glow effects in this video. Now unveil the next layer. This is the frame of the slide in which I will showcase all the elements. It is a rounded rectangle with gradient color scheme. You can use either the radial or linear gradient scheme. Also, one thing to be noticed is that I am using three gradient stops in the gradient. Now what I will do next is create a duplicate of this layer and create another layer. But in the layer panel you can see this is a group of items. So basically I have created a masking effect. Masking is a way to hold things inside certain shape. So this duplicated frame will act as a boundary or invisible shape holding the shapes inside it. Now you can see the ellipse 3 and 4 as glow circles which are the duplicated shapes of the first glow circle I had created in the beginning of the video. I have just changed the colors inside it. As you can see in the properties panel I have only changed the color scheme and the opacity of the colors as required. Now let's move on to the next item and reveal it. This is the globe effect using a circle and linear gradient. If you see the properties of this circle, I have used linear gradient. Also I have changed the opacity of the right gradient stop. You can move the gradient slide or bar on the circle to adjust the gradient color flow. I am going to use this circle multiple times in this video, but with a different color. Other than the linear gradient, I have also applied the shadow effect. The shadow effect is also called drop shadow in the Figma. You have to click on the effects panel. Then select the drop shadow. When you will click on the icon of drop shadow, a panel of values will appear. You can change these values to increase or decrease the shadow effect. X and Y axis are the direction of the shadow. Blur will make the shadow soft or hard depending on the value you enter. Now let's unlock the next layer within the masked group. Again the same circle with linear gradient and drop shadow effect. But if you notice, the circle has some transparency and boundary of the circle is not going out of the base panel. This is due to the masking I have applied. For the transparency, adjust the opacity on both the gradient stops. You have to move the slider and gradient stops to get the best view or flow of gradient within the circle. The more you will try, better you will get in understanding the flow of the color. If you see the properties on the right panel, I have used the same gradient settings and drop shadow effect. It is just the color and opacity settings where I have changed some numbers. I know it might sound too much technical for a newbie. Trust me, it is easy. Time to unlock the next layer. This is a boundary line of the bigger circle. Actually, it is a circle which is edited to create a hollow circle. 
After that I have applied the same gradient effect and modified the color tone a bit. Then I have added some opacity on both the gradient stops but with different numbers. With opacity the boundary circle looks good. For your better understanding, I am creating one circle. Just insert one circle and with the help of this dot, move it to the edge of the circle and you will get this hollow circle. You can easily adjust the width and size of the circle. After creating the circle, you can fill the colors as per your requirement. Again to help you understand, I am filling the colors. Click on the color under fill. Change it to the gradient and then select linear gradient. After that you can add multiple gradient stops. Make sure the colors are complementing your design. Moving the gradient stops creates a different look every time. Therefore, it is important to try and experiment with the values and slides to get the best output. In order to help you understand about the masking in Figma, I am moving this circle. You can see, it is not going outside the panel or base shape. This is due to the masking effect. If you can see this arrow, it says the rectangle is masking the shapes above it within the group. So how to apply mask? Just click on the rectangle, right click and select the option with mask. Then you can see the results. The shapes above it will be masked. Now unveiling the next layer. This is a circle with a globe effect. When I say globe effect, it means it looks like a globe. You can check the settings or properties panel and the settings are the same. This is the same circle used earlier but with a different color. The drop shadow setting is same. I have created multiple copies of this circle with different sizes and colors and spread out at different positions. Here is another circle I have used. Again I duplicated and created this circle, but decreased its size so that it looks like that it is at some distance as compared to other circles. Now let's see what we have next. This is a placeholder for the logo. I will add a logo next to it. Next is the very small size circle overlapping the initial circle. This creates a beautiful depth effect. It is looking nice. Similarly, I have created these other circles as well. The next layer which I have opened is the information card. This layer is one of the most important layer of this design. This is the placeholder, where you have to show the key information about the topic or the slide. In the properties panel you can see that I have filled two colors with very less opacity. Blue and white. This gives it a beautiful hint of blue color. But the main part is the effect which is background blur. Using this effect will make the background blur, but only within the area of this shape. After that you can add any information you want. I have added dummy information using Montserrat font and styles. You can again check the properties panel for the same. Just play with these options and you will know what to do. Rest all is the placement of items in an arranged format so that everything looks good. Here, as you can see, I am adding more layers of text and placing them in an order while ensuring these are aligned with each other. Just keep a check on the properties. Follow a pattern like bigger headings, medium subheadings and small text. You can create your text style and follow that. Design has to support the content. You can create a customized information card of any style to showcase stats, numbers, charts, text, keywords, pointers, branding, etc. You can also add images if the topic demands. Think how to add value in any design. I have duplicated the card. Now you can see this blurred card. It is the same card but I have added a layer blur effect. This effect makes it blurred and it gives a nice depth effect to the slide. It looks like that it is sitting in the background of the slide. Such kind of styles you can follow in your design. Such blur effects are not available in PowerPoint, and you have to do some way arounds to achieve these kind of effects. In Figma it is available, and you can design with more versatility and choice. Now unveiling the circle or ellipse, what you call a circle in Figma. After that the next layer is text for the branding. I am adding Creative Venus as branding for now. You can add logo here. You can adjust the text font, size, and even character spacing. Next layers are about the content and subheading. These are easy. You can control these from the properties panel. It is very important to align every layer. Once all the text is added, I have opened the call to action layer. It has three elements. The button, 
the text and the vector arrow. You know how to add the button. It is a rectangle with rounded corners. Fill the gradient color and linear gradient is recommended. You can try different directions of the gradient flow with the help of the bar. After that add the call to action text. And you can even decide the action like hyperlink or what should happen on the click of this button. The last part is the arrow. You have to design the arrow using the vector tool. Click on the pen at the top tools panel and draw this arrow using line. Next is fill the color in the vector and make the edges of the arrow rounded. This looks cool. I have drawn this arrow to help you understand. You can adjust the thickness, color, and edges of the lines. Properties panel in Figma is really helpful. Now let's see the final output. Now let's check the final output. Hope you like it. I have also added subtle animation in the background. You can create wonderful designs for your presentations using these styles and tips. Subscribe to our channel for more such videos.